it's that time again. Larry's Country Diner, welcome in. We're going to have a good time today. Those Gatlin boys just rode into town. Oh. Right now, I want you to meet one of the most respected businessmen in all of America. <laughs> Makes his living selling very unhealthy foods. They're all fried. <laughs> we don't care. That's Larry. <laughs> You're right, I don't care. Yeah, that's right. As long as you can put ketchup on it and mustard. There you go. Salt. Here we go. I got the promise. Let not your heart be troubled. Okay. Believe in God, believe also in me. And that is in John 14, 1. Did you ever read John? Yes. Did you read 1 John or 2 John? I, I think I read both of them at one time. I read Second John first. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you would. would. <laughs> That's, good. That's good. We went to a Halloween party where you had to go as a as something biblical. Uh-huh. Luann and I did cutouts of a of a toilet bowl and went in. They said, "Who are you?" I said, I'm First John. I'm Second John. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Now for our gospel moment. That's right on the verge of getting struck by lightning, isn't it? <laughs> All right. We got that. We, I'm so delighted to have these guys. <laughs> That's it? Was that, was that I'm going to tell you that with, uh, if we've been in show business 67 years, without question, the worst introduction <laughs> I, I, I've ever heard in my give, life. Oh, it's going to be a fun Give, give us one more try. I'm yeah. so glad that, do that line again. Right, I'm ready? so glad to have these guys. One more time. I'm so glad to have these guys. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to be here, Larry. I don't want to cry. This early, this morning But cry I will If you go through With leaving me alone I don't want to cry This early, this morning So lay back down and love me and leave the leaving till later on I don't want to think about tomorrow Lord knows I've got my hands full Just worrying about today And if it's true that God sees every sparrow when it falls, Lord, I hope you see me falling If you open walk away Cause I don't want to cry this early this morning But cry I will if you go through with leaving me alone I don't want to cry I don't want to this cry early this morning So lay back down and love me And leave the leaving till later on So lay back down and love me Leave the leaving to later on. Everybody on the high note, ready? I don't want to cry. Send no money. That's N O M O N E Y. To me, that's M E, Tulsa 2, Oklahoma. <laughs> don't, never mind them send you prayer cards. You know what your problem is? Pray for your own self. I like that. Start in Second John. Do it first. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> How are you, Lorenzo? I'm doing great. How about that, the three of y'alls? We're just doing Jim Dandy. We are. We'll take it. Let's go to a break. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Nathan, good. Uh, we got lots more to go. And Nadine's not even here yet. Stay with us. <laughs> well, 
Welcome back to Larry's Country. Now, I know if you're like me, it's Larry's Country Diner, but we're all wondering, is it that Larry or that Larry? I, I don't know. There is a time when it has been that Larry. That's right. I did. I filled in one time, didn't I? I yes, did. A couple of times. And boy, it's a, it's a big spot to fill. <laughs> did, did that come out right? I don't think so. No, think not, so. not really. You know what happened? I, I turned around and looked at my seat when you said that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to see how big of a spot it really was. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, uh, you're a big personality. Uh, and you have a big heart, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Generous yes, he mouth. does. Absolutely. <laughs> and a big mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, it's going down. Because you here. can't be in show business if you ain't got that's a right. big mouth problem. <laughs> that's why you filled in and did a really I nice did job. A really that's great right. job. <laughs> Nadine, open the door! Oh, Nadine. Hello. Oh. Watch out, Gatlin. Homer had to wake me up. <laughs> well, I tell you, I gotta tell y'all something right now. We're gonna get this, get this on. Randy Little has been on me for the last year to get political. Oh boy. Uh-oh. And I thought of all the people, the Gatlin brothers has got to be the best ones to get political with. Yep. So we're going to get political, and you guys just join in. Okay. You feel like. Oh, he will. Don't worry. Oh, I know. <laughs> Somebody's eating my candy here now. Um, but anyway, it's good to have y'all. Thank you. Good to see you. What's your songwriter's matter? Uh, yes, my shirt. Yeah. Oh. It says songwriter's matter. Uh, Nadine, you may not know that uh, a French philosopher named uh, Andrew Fletcher, Lord Andrew Fletcher of Saltoon, uh -huh. back in the 18th century, he said, uh, were I able to write the ballads, the songs of a nation, I'd care not who wrote its laws. He thought songs were pretty important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, another guy named George Frederick Root thought that songs were important, and he wrote... Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And so do I. <laughs> Take it. You're an entertainer, I'm telling you. You are one more entertainer. Put me to shame. Put me to shame. Well, I tell you what. My, my grandson was over talking to my son the other day, and, and my son was telling me that he asked him why there are no more circuses around. They don't ever, he never has been to a circus. And my son said, well, I got to tell you, son, uh, all the clowns have joined politics. <laughs> <laughs> and I personally remember when we would uh, fought against communists instead of electing them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and here in Tennessee, I just realized yesterday, I heard that President, President Governor Newsom out of California was named Realtor of the Year in Tennessee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We had six Californians moving into our neighborhood this week. And you know what? They're conservative. They said nobody could talk to them out there, so they came here so people could talk to them. I like that. And just my opinion, but I think they ought to deal with some of these rap lyrics before they start affecting Dr. Mm. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Ticks me off. That's right. Have you heard some of these rap lyrics? Oh, yes. I, of course, I can't understand them, but... I heard the music that far away. Music's not that bad, but I Nathan just, knows all of the lyrics from the rap songs. Yeah. Could you come up here and quote some of those? No, Nathan? no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I heard that uh, the networks are dropping the Wizard of Oz show because it's offensive to people without brains. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is affecting quite a few of Homer's family. <laughs> and um, a payday. Paydays had to change their candy bar because it offends people that don't work. <laughs> I got well, I nephews that's that are. because they went nuts. <laughs> well, that too. But uh, I've got nephews that are just, you know, real offended by that. But um, 
Anyway, um, you know, and I can't believe I'm living in a world that's reassigned the gender of a plastic potato. <laughs> that potato that head. really bothers me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, I, Sam, Sam Bam, I was talking to him. I don't know where he went, but uh, he was telling me that his, uh, his teacher told him that guns kill people. And he said, I, I loved his answer. He said, yeah, just like that pencil flunked my math exam. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, my, my last one, and I'm going to leave it alone. This is for you, Randy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Send your cards and letters to Randy Little, PFI, St. Louis, Missouri. No, St. <laughs> <Saint> Louis. <laughs> Springfield. Springfield. But anyway, <clears throat> if, if police officers take the risk of getting shot when they go on this job, don't you think that it should be a risk that criminals take when they break the law? Absolutely. I think so, too. I like it. I hope Biden heard that. Oh, I'm going to go put the church sign up. Okay. It's going to say, you can't shack up with the devil and expect God to pay the rent. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, that woman's on it tonight, isn't she? They pointed us. Nadine, I wrote a song about it. You talk about uh, uh, Gavin Newsom's the, the bit, most popular realtor. I said, don't try to California, my Texas, or California, my Tennessee. Well, you, no, if you try to California, my Texas, or California, my Tennessee. Well, you better think twice, cause it won't play nice, and you're gonna have to go through me. Just stand there and take your fanny cooking like a man, cause that's how it's gonna be. If you try to California, my Texas, or California, my Tennessee. Oh, yeah! yeah. That is gonna be your the theme song for your campaign for governor. That's yeah! Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right. I've, already, I've already got the shirt. I tell you. I like that. That's some funny stuff right there. Because the truth's always, almost always funny. It is. Are we supposed to sing another real song? Sure. Right My wife Janice and I had been married about two years. We moved into, we, we were broke. She's a school teacher. And we saved up enough money to buy a little red brick house out in Antioch, Tennessee. It was $219.57 a month. How many of you remember your first house payment? Oh, yeah. How many of you did not think you were going to make your second house payment? <laughs> That's exactly how we were. We were sitting there one night, and the phone rang. We were sitting there in our little den watching our little TV in our little house, and we got a phone call, and it was old J.D. Sumner, uh, the bass singer for the Stamps. You know, and they sang uh, back up with Elvis and all that. And the news he had for Janice and me was the fact that the king himself, Elvis Presley, had just recorded two of my songs. When you don't know whether or not you're going to make a $219.57 a month house payment, Elvis Presley cuts one of your songs, or two, is a pretty big deal. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. So we thanked him. He played them for us right there over the telephone, and we thanked him. And then after we hung up the phone and went back to watching our little TV in our little den in our little house, then the next day, Janice and I went out and bought a big old house. <laughs> Here's one of the songs. I told her to leave me alone that's what she's done just what she's done and a house built for two just ain't a home when it's lived in by one one lonely one And I can no longer hear footsteps from right down the hall. Here come the teardrops, bitter they are, hard they fall. She called a train Then I caught a fever Walking home in the rain Uh, 
but it's over and undone. She's left me once and for once and for all. Here come the teardrops, bitter they are, harder they Teardrops Bitter They are Hard They fall mm -hmm. Thank all you nice folks And thank you El On one of our country's family reunion shows that Gene Watson was on, and you were there, and his request was that you sing that at his 30th or his 40th birthday? Well, he requested that I sing it. Uh, no. I, okay, here's how I remember it. All right. I mean, it's your show. You can remember how you want to. <laughs> I'm a, I don't remember what I had for breakfast, but I'm going to write a song called I Remember It Like It's 40 Years Ago, because I can remember that stuff. I thought it was my birthday, and he, is that right? Yes. And then he was. Who my is 60th? that woman? <laughs> you, you better be nice. That's man. your memory. Is what <laughs> that is, yeah. And your future, and your bank account, and your, all your credit cards That's and stuff right. like that. And it could be called alimony if you don't straighten up. <laughs> We'll find out what them bitter teardrops yeah, are that's all about. What I'm talking about, Brother Bilby. It was my 60th birthday, and I said, I said, I'll give up one of my songs, which I wasn't yes. going to, you know, <laughs> that we all sing. I said, I'll give up one of mine that's right. if you'll have G let Gene Watson sing Bitter They Are, Hardly They Fall for my birthday, because he recorded it, mm -hmm. a great, great yeah. rendition of it. And you guys sang a duet. And we sang a little yeah. harmony to it, and... Uh, Gene, can we tell him, Gene was uh, taping earlier today one yep. of your shows and got to see him and hear him and saw our buddy Mo Bandy, but two of the great, great country singers in history. But mm. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Happy birthday. Was it your 60th birthday? I think so. How do you remember that? That was over 25 years ago. <laughs> Are you, did you take your medicine this morning? Your crazy medicine? Yeah, I took one little pill earlier. This I morning. think you might ought to double up. You're I having get, a little I get relapse here. <laughs> take it, Larry. Or, or, or are we supposed to take? Are it? Are we supposed to take? No, it? no, no, no. no. <laughs> we're gonna let we're gonna let them take it. Oh, I, I think we'll be back. I'm not real sure. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> is it our turn to sing? Uh -huh. yeah. You know, please. uh, yeah, uh, please, please. We, uh, we, we kid around, and that's, you know, you know what? The master teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ, ran around with fishermen, prostitutes. Yep. Matthew was a tax collector. I kind of have a funny feeling they laughed a little bit every oh, now and yeah. you know. And so laughter maketh the bone strong. Isn't that what the book says? Laughter makes the bone strong. So uh, who said Christians can't have fun? I'm going to write that one of these days. I wrote a song, uh, and we, we were supposed to do I Just Wish You Were Someone I Love, but we ain't going to do it. We're going to sing a song for Michelle Caps. Oh. Uh, for the old sheriff. Hi, sweetie. And for Brother Bilberry, had, uh, you know, kind of a tough road to go here lately. But uh, the good Lord said, fear not. It's not a suggestion, it's a commandment. Right. So in the midst of all this, we put the fear behind us, right? That's right. And we deal with it and we have faith and our friends help us out. Lord, help me walk another mile. Just one more mile I'm tired of walking All alone Lord Help me smile Another smile Just one more smile I know I just can't make it On my own I never thought I needed help before I thought that I could do things all by myself But now I know I just can't take it anymore With a humble heart on bended knees I'm begging you please For hell Jimmy Capps played on my first record 1971 We miss you, Sheriff Come down From your golden throne To me To lonely me I need to feel the touch of your tender hand Remove the chains of darkness And let me see, Lord, let me see Just where I fit into your master plan I never thought I needed help before I thought that I could get by by myself But now I know I just can't take it anymore With a humble heart on bended knees, I'm begging you, please, for help. With a humble heart on bended knees, I'm begging you, please, for help. Lord, reach down your helping hand and touch Michelle and Brother Bill Bill over there. We appreciate it. Take a quick break. Yeah, turn it over to me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we'll be back for Larry's Country Diner. Woo! And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. I think we got another song, right? About time. You know, we've had all the fun we can stand today. Let's yeah. get us out of here. Thanks to the Catlins for being here. We enjoyed it. God love you. So. 
Is that it? Do we no, sing we're a song? Do a song. We, okay. Hey, uh, you know, I don't have any internal dialogue. This Y'all probably in. figured that out. It's all external. And uh, there ain't a whole lot of filter sometimes between here and here. But I got a nice house. <laughs> and uh, we ain't got a pool, but y'all can come over and we'll turn the hose on you, okay? <laughs> Old joke. It didn't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve and Rudy and I were going to go to Canada about two years ago. We were going to do 10-day tour. And we don't do that very often uh, anymore. We, we go out for two or three days. But we were going to be gone for 10 days. And... Uh, some new people who were uh, an accounting firm that, that were handling the money for Janice Me, they told me, they said, we don't want you to use your American Express anymore because if we miss a month on payment, it's 30.84%. I hope American Express is not one of your sponsors. Well, they were, but not anymore. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, they said they want me to pay cash and get a receipt and bring it back to them. Well, I never carried money. I hope, you know, I'll carry hundred bucks in fives and tens, you know, for cabs and, and, and tips and stuff. So I didn't have any idea. We're going to be gone 10 days. I said, well, bring me a thousand bucks, hundred dollars a day. I mean, you got food, you got cars, you got stuff. So, so when I put that, uh, put that big wad of money in my pocket, I said out loud, cause like I say, I don't have any internal. I said, Larry Wayne, you got more money in your pocket than your daddy ever had in the bank. Good boy. And I wrote us a song. Mostly fair winds have blown on me. Winds of goodness, grace and mercy. And fill my sails as full as they can safely be. Mostly fair winds have blown on me. I've got more money in my pocket than my daddy ever had the bank. I don't know if there's someone to blame. But I do know there is one to thank. I've had a share of ups and downs I sail some stormy seas But mostly fair winds have blown on me Mostly fair winds have blown and mercy and fill my sails as full as they can safely be mostly fair winds have blown on me so forgive me Lord if I start that the sun is too hot, the wind's too cold, or that it's raining. I've been blessed as any man could ever be, cause mostly fair winds have blown on. We'll teach it to you. Mostly fair winds have blown on me. Winds of goodness, grace, and mercy. Winds of goodness, grace, and mercy. Fill my sails as full as they could safely be. Fill my sails as full as they could safely be title line mostly fair winds have blown on me mostly fair winds have blown on me and you folks
folks and millions of people around the world have been the fair winds blowing on the Gatlin boys for 67 years. We appreciate it. May fair winds blow on all of you. God bless. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Thank you very much, the Gatlin brothers. Thank you, sir. Get us out of here. All right. Uh, that's it. That's uh, Larry's Country Diner for today. I hope you've been as blessed as we have been. Now remember, Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care. care. Especially Larry Gatlin. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs>